Are you someone who watches or listens to the news religiously? On this episode, I'm going to explain why I stopped watching the news and why you should too. What's up guys? Matt Wyke, Wyke Fitness. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. If you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to it on iTunes or over on my website, I appreciate the love. Feel free to give us some feedback after the episode is over. Let us know what you think. Um, but today, I really want to get into something that, quite frankly, and you know I try to keep this PG, I'm recording this episode a day early. That's how fired up I am about this topic. And it all stems from the mass media taking something so stupid and twisting it into the most negative thing that you'll probably see all week on the news. And, and you know, normally I record all of my podcasts on a Tuesday. I release them on a Thursday. Today's Monday. Something happened over the weekend, and I see people across social media just going nuts over this. You see people in the media and mass media, you know, major news stations, news channels, pushing this out on their social media, pushing it out on their website, pushing it out on their live broadcasts. And quite frankly, it's a bunch of BS. Nobody seems to want to get their facts straight these days. They want to take something, whether it's an image or a video clip, and they want to take the worst twist off of it possible and run with it. For, for what reason? I don't know. But let me just, let me set the stage to, to why I'm so fired up and why I personally don't watch the news anymore, but I see stuff pop up in my feeds, and I see people talking about it, and this just brought on, like, a whole hellstorm of, of negativity. So let's get into it. So, the Cubs and the Cardinals played a baseball game this past weekend, and, and a guy who I know, his name is Jeff Rose, he's a financial advisor, financial planner, was sitting in basically, you know, the, a box right up front, um, like first base line. And, you know, there's a video of a player walking over, tossing a ball to a kid that's, that's basically sitting right next to Jeff. The ball slips through his hands, goes on the ground, rolls underneath his seat. A guy picks it up, gives it to his wife, and they're cheering, and they're going nuts, and, and meanwhile, everyone around them, you know, is just kind of shocked, I guess, like, oh my gosh, like, why, you know, what is going on? Why are they acting this way? Why did he just take that kid's ball? Now, the media ran with this, okay? So they're playing it off as, this guy's the biggest jerk in the world, how dare he steal this ball from this kid? What an a-hole. So meanwhile, his image, his face is all over the media. It's on television. It's on the internet. It's being talked about non-stop. But here's the twist. That boy that supposedly got robbed of this ball, okay, he got a ball two innings prior, okay? And that, that mean, nasty guy, what a jerk for stealing that ball. That was like the third ball that he got during the game, okay? And do you know what he did with all the other balls that he got? He gave them to kids that were sitting around him. Do you understand what I'm saying? A simple video clip of some guy taking a ball that rolled under the seat of a kid, giving that ball to his wife, and they're both... You know, so excited that they got this ball, and the media runs with it that this guy is such a jerk. Okay? But they neglect to bring up, which they probably don't even know, because they got this clip probably from somebody on social media who ran with it, so they picked up the story because, oh my gosh, we can twist this into being so negative. People will love this story, and it's going to get them fired up. They're going to want to watch our show. And find out what a jerk this guy is for stealing this ball. What a bunch of dumbass. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so fired up about this. Like, I'm trying so hard to keep this clean. 
but I'm so furious at the mass media and the nonsensical BS that they put out today to push agenda, to push this negativity. I don't understand if they're doing this because they want to basically tell everybody else, hey, look, your life isn't this bad. That dude's family just got, you know, completely torn apart because he got uh, in a car accident or this person drowned, you know, be so lucky that, you know, you didn't have a family member or you yourself didn't die or there was a mass shooting or this guy walked into a bank and, and held this place up and he shot some person who was just there to deposit the $5 that he had in his pocket and, you know, he's homeless and he's trying to restart his life and, you know, they'll do whatever they can to show the negativity that's going on in this world. But you know what the one thing about all of those bad, you know, shootings and guns and oh my gosh, and we need to take all this stuff away from people. You know what the one thing that no, none, zero, zilch media companies, whether it's a big, uh, you know, uh, newscast that's on live television or some, you know, Huffington Post, New York Times, whatever the case may be. You know what's the one thing that they will never, ever, 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 ever show you? Is the guy who showed up, he's a legally armed citizen, shot, stopped, or killed somebody who was there trying to, you know, commit mass murder on people. That individual stopped that attacker from doing more harm than what could have happened as an outcome had he, she not been there or had they not had and legally carried a firearm. Mass media these days only wants to push the negative. They will never say, thank God that civilian was there with the gun to stop this lunatic from killing more people. It'll never happen. Never, ever, ever. You will never see that on television. Because they're all pushing the agenda. They all want to push this negativity that, you know, we are so bad as a country. There are so many bad things going on. Chicago, every weekend, people are getting shot up. Heck, that's every night that's going on in Chicago. Heck, That's going on in places like Reading, Pennsylvania, not far from where I live. You see stuff like that on the media all the time. Very rarely do you see positive things that are going on in the media. Obviously, you have neutrality like sports and weather. (laughs) It is what it is. I mean, sure, you could say, oh, well, you know, the the Sixers, they're playing great now. The Phillies, oh, they're not playing great right now. Uh, Flyers, you know, heck, when are they actually going to play good? I mean, you can go down the line. You have the ups and the downs in sports. The same with the weather. Oh, today's sunny, tomorrow rainy. Oh, next day, thunderstorms. Oh, man, back in the dumper. But after that, hey, clear sailing, five days of sunshine. Cool. But everything else in between is just negativity. So, it's for that reason that I just, (coughs) excuse me, I I, I literally just ate lunch before I turn on this mic because I'm like, I got to get this out. So now I'm like choking. But it's the reason why I actually stopped watching and listening to the news. Because they don't fact check anymore. They run with whatever they see. And it seems like social media these days is something that's actually controlling mass media. You see stuff that's going on on Facebook, then all of a sudden it's on the nightly news, then it starts blowing up. But it seems like everything these days is stemming from social media. People are posting things, whether they're right or wrong, and it's getting picked up by the news stations. And honestly, it's wrong. You can guarantee that this whole clip of this guy, so, you know, supposedly taking this ball from this kid, showed up on social media, it got shared, and that person who saw it and shared it, their people, their friends, shared it, so on and so forth. Next thing, it gets in front of millions of people. Everyone thinks that this guy is such a jerk-off 
Meanwhile, this guy's going, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, what are you talking about? I kept one ball and gave it to my wife. All the other balls that I got? I gave to the kids around me. Why is nobody talking about that? The kid that I supposedly stole the ball from, he got a ball two innings ago. What are you guys talking about? Why are you putting my face everywhere? Why are you making me look like a bad guy? Can you imagine that feeling? You do all of this good for the people around you? You're sitting in a lucky seat that you get, you know, three plus balls in one game? What are the chances of that? The dude's feeling lucky. Yeah, man, I got the good, I got the golden ticket seat. I mean, I'm in a spot where I'm getting all these balls. Then, you know, you go home, you're all over the news as being some scumbag who stole a ball from a kid. What a jerk. Can you imagine feeling that? I, I, I couldn't even imagine that going on. But yet the media wants to continue to take something so small and spin it in such a way that it's going to make for an interesting story. Because you know what? No one's going to care about some guy who got, you know, three plus balls and he gave all of those balls to the kids around him. You know why? Because that happens every freaking day. Okay? That happens every day day at a baseball game. Somebody catches the ball. There's a kid sitting around them. Hey, buddy, here's a ball. And you know what? The kid's eyes light up. But you know what? Mass media, they'll never never cover that. Why? Because it's good. Hey, it makes people feel happy. We don't want people to feel happy. We want them to be scared. We want them to see all the negativity, all the things that are wrong with this nation. And I don't get it. I don't understand why they're doing this. Quite frankly, it's annoying. I mean, when when your MO is to take a story and spin it in a negative fashion, to make someone who, quite frankly, doesn't deserve it look bad, that's negligent. It's dishonest. Why, why would you continue to support media outlets that promote this garbage? I hate the word fake news. But that's what it is. It's not news. You're fabricating something. You're creating something into a story that doesn't even exist. So, my call to arms is to stop Watching the news. If you stop giving them traffic to their site, you stop giving them the views that they look for. If they don't get as many eyeballs on the 11 o'clock news, what do you think is going to happen? Heads are going to roll. I don't see any end in sight. I don't see news stations changing the way that they're doing and conducting business. So how do you disrupt that? It's simple. You disrupt their business. If you don't give them the attention that they're looking for, they're going to have to find a new way to engage you and entertain you and get your views back. So what I'm telling you is, Stop paying attention to the news. Stop watching the news. I mean, honestly, think about the stuff that you watch every night on the nightly news, whether it's the 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever o'clock that you watch the news. Maybe it's in the morning. I don't know. I don't care. Regardless, it's all negativity. Very rarely do you see something positive. You see car wrecks. You see shootings. You see fires. I mean, where does it stop? I mean, I get it. It's it's news. So they're sharing that. But the bottom line is, a lot of the stuff that's on the news that you're watching doesn't even pertain to you. It's not going to affect or change your life. I don't want it to sound disrespectful, but like, if, if, some, if you live in Pennsylvania and they want to show a, a 15-car pileup in Montana where there's multiple fatalities, while that's horrific, 
it's, it's not really going to change your life. So why are they showing you something that's not really adding value to your life? You want to show positivity? Show people that are building rec centers, playgrounds, donating to schools so that they can get new equipment for sports teams. Show the good that people are doing. And I get it. Not everybody wants the accolades for things that they do. I'm one of them. I don't tell you where I donate my money, the good deeds that I do during the day. It's, it's just who I am. But you know what? People like seeing those types of stories. They like seeing the good that's going on in their community. The good that people are doing. The kindness. The good-hearted individuals that go above and beyond to help people out. Maybe some dude ran into a burning building to go pull people out. Show that. Quit just talking about the fire and how many homes it damaged and the, how much money it's going to cost to repair it. Who cares? You know what? That dude just ran in. He's not a firefighter. He's not an EMT. He's not law enforcement. He's a civilian. Shoot. The building's on fire. What can I do? I'm going to run in, risk my life, and I'm going to grab as many people as I can and get the heck out of there. Nobody wants to talk about that. It's too uplifting. That dude's a hero. Nobody wants to talk about that. Where's the negativity? Ah, oh, the entire complex burnt to the ground. Oh my gosh. It's all negativity. So again, do yourself a favor, because you'll never get that 35 minutes or whatever odd you know, number of minutes that the news is on, and do something productive with that time. Don't watch the news. Heck, go exercise for 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 60 minutes. However long that show is, be productive. Take the negativity that you would be watching and turn it into a positive. Make it uplifting. Make it something that's going to help make you a better person. Maybe it's reading a book, learning a new skill, adding to your current skill sets, learning something new, working your mind on the treadmill, training your heart, lifting weights to build your body. Whatever the case may be, turn that negativity that you would usually watch and turn it into a positive. I've had enough with the freaking mass media. And I get it. The newscasters, they just read from a script. Somebody puts it together. You sit there and you read the lines that are right in front of you. You really don't have a say of what's going on. They just tell you, hey man, here's some stories. This is what we're going to go over. Here's the script. Read it so you understand it. We go live in five. It's no different. Turn negativity into something positive. That's all I'm asking. If somebody from the mass media is listening to this or watching it on YouTube, shame on you. I hope you listen to this and you think that you are such a scumbag for what you're doing and for what you're producing and the content that you're putting out. I hope you can't sleep at night. I hope you lay awake in a sweat in a pool of your own sweat, thinking about your life and the things that you're doing for your profession. You're promoting negativity. We have enough of that in this world. Why not, why not for once? Just once. Give it a shot and try and find the positive in every situation. If you're going to do a car wreck, hey man, you know what? The people were okay. The guy who was in the accident had a heart attack. He went to the hospital. He's going to be okay. The cars can be replaced. Lives can't. Everyone is going to be able to go home. 
Why can't you just do something like that? Everything's got to be so negative. Think about the positive for once. That's all I got. Man, this was this turned into a rant. <laughs> if you if you lasted with me for the, you know, 20 minutes that we've been, you know, going back and forth with this, uh I appreciate it. But this it turned into a rant. Literally, I I got done eating. I I saw this on social media as I was, you know, quick flipping through before I got back to to writing some content and and literally my my head exploded. There was smoke coming out of my ears and I needed to just you know, turn on the mic and and say my piece. So, I hope you found at least some type of value through through my rant today. Um, I know it was an unusual podcast, but I feel it's something that people need to hear and think about. Because there's way too much negativity in this world already. We don't need mass media just going out and just making up baseless and false stories just to you know, make a story that sounds engaging to get the views and the likes and, and the eyeballs on the content. That's that's terrible. I, I They should really feel bad about what they're doing for not getting the facts straight. So, that's all I got. I hope this... <laughs> I hope this didn't bring down your day and uh, get you the, the you know, the gloomy gloomy emotions, but uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you think about this and you're like, man, I'm going to add more positivity in my own life. I'm going to stop watching the news. I'm going to use that time more wisely so for something positive, whether it's to hone in in my skills, my craft. Maybe I meditate. Maybe I go help people. Maybe for that 30 minutes or an hour, I'm going to go do something. Maybe I'm going to go help my you know spouse, significant other. Go help my grandmother. Go help my parents. Whatever the case may be. Just find the positivity in it. Stop promoting BS. False information. Just so that it fits your stupid agenda. So that's all I got for this episode. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. A fantastic weekend. And I hope to see you on the next episode.